Hi guys, it's Lily. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and today I'm bringing you the rest of my haul from 4th of July uh, weekend. <clears throat> this was the first Goodwill I went to um, that I had a little bit better luck at than the second one because someone beat me there. Um, but most of this haul is dresses. I don't know why I had dresses on the brain yesterday, but I did. Um, I think I got some really nice pieces compared, considering what I paid. Um, we don't have bins here, so I have driven two and a half miles to Nashville. I have driven two and a half miles to Memphis. And when it says Goodwill Outlet, um, there it's not the bins. It's uh, actually, I think they're higher than the regular Goodwill. And they don't give me a discount. Um, I don't know why that is, but anyway. Um, they don't have military discount in Memphis. They don't have a uh, loyalty discount in Memphis. So I did buy a few things when I went, but not much. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to start with the few accessories I got. And only got those because they were 99 cents. Um, so I will go ahead and start. This first pair is... Um, rocket dogs and I don't think they're uh, worth a whole lot but they were in really good condition and I got them for 99 cents so let's see what size they are they are a size six and a half but they're like this I don't know almost feels like they're felt wool and they may be I don't know uh, it doesn't say so probably not but they're in really good condition size 6 and they were 99 cents and then I got these really cute they're called ruby shoes just a really cute navy blue patterned heel they were also in really good condition so I went ahead and picked them up for 99 cents. And they are size U US 9. These were not on sale. Um, but they were keen, so I picked them up. I think I paid $5.09 for the keens. But they were still in decent shape. So I figured I'd be able to sell those. And last accessory was a coach sunglass case that I got for $1.79 with my discount. Um, and it's in decent condition. And I do have a pair of coach prescription sunglasses that I need to get filled. But I'm not sure that they'll fit in that. So anyway, that's it for the accessories. And in yesterday's haul, I spent my morning... I didn't list anything yesterday, and I feel horrible that I didn't list anything yesterday because I had a very good weekend in sales, um, and and I'm sure it's from being consistent with listing and sharing and um, stuff like that. So, but my absolute favorite thing I wanted to keep out of yesterday's haul it does not fit me. It was the MG size large, just a really cute midi dress color block um <laughs> sun's coming in the door <laughs> but it's definitely fit like a good like size 10 so if anybody's interested in this it will be in my closet sometime before the day's out all right so i didn't give you the numbers let me start with that i got 27 items at this Goodwill, and I spent $74.83, so my cost of goods came out over average $3.40 per piece. I just want to make sure that's not a thread up notification. Give me a sec. No, but hello Edie, I will answer you uh, in a bit. <laughs> Alright, so 
I got 12 99 cent items in this haul. I got six that were under three dollars. I got eight that were right at five dollars and one that was six something and I will tell you which one that is when I get to it. I try to go when I go on the on Sundays when they have the 99 cent tag sale I try to look at nothing but the red tags but you know that never ever ever works out I always find stuff that I just absolutely have to have that's not that color tag that day so that's what I did um, all right so the first three or four are like um, evening gowns and and or bridesmaid wedding uh, what have you but I picked them up because they were a dollar you know I'll sit on them for a while maybe but that's okay um, but I also don't have to charge an absorbent amount of price for them the way I look at it um, so I'm gonna start with those and get those out of the way Whew, my glasses are fogged all right so this first one is a Kiki size small it is a beautiful baby blue powder Getty strap evening gown. And I believe it does have a slit somewhere. Eh. No, but it has a lot of extra fabric in the bottom. Fit and flare to the floor. Um, it's just, it's beautiful. There were no flaws. And with it came this beautiful wrap. I guess I think they wear it kind of like this. But anyway, I thought that was pretty, so I got it. It was 99 cents. I mean, I couldn't help pick it up for 99 cents. Another one, new with tags, 99 cents. This is a Windsor and a great size. It's a 1X. New tags, just a wine color, burgundy, very long, it flares out at the bottom, it does have a slit at the front, I believe, I'm sorry, I can't hold these things up very well, yeah, yeah it does, it has a very long slit up the front. Perfect condition, brand new. I think it retailed for, I mean, not high. It only retailed for $55. So um, I could probably get 20 out of this. It's brand new with tags. Hmm. Was that the only two? May have been. Okay. This I thought was very pretty linen. Plaza South, size 10, is a linen maxi dress, it has all this embroidery on the bottom, um, very good condition. I did see a comp on this for, sold comp for I think around 40, what did I get that for? Did I get that one for a dollar? Looking at the tags. No, I got it for three dollars. This was half price. This I also got for half price. It's a Jones New York stretch size small new tags. Retails for seventy-nine dollars. Um, it's a beautiful white shirt. Just a good business wear. Brand new with tags and buttons. So it's not all dresses, but it's mostly dresses. And this, which I hadn't fixed yet, this is a J. Crew. I believe it's a size four. Yeah, J. Crew. A size four. It is a halter summer. Cotton, low back, fit and flare, 
plaid dress that is lined. Good condition. I paid three dollars for that. That's just like two ninety eight, but we'll just go three. I'm not sure why I picked this one up, but I did. This is an Izod uh, shirt, extra large, just kind of off the shoulder, elastic waist. Which is, I like the color. I may end up keeping that. I don't know if I want to take the time to photograph and list that. but Okay, Jessica Taylor. This is another really nice, fancier one. Size 3X like a chiffon, very long maxi, and this one came with a shawl, both in great condition. I did not look this up, um, but I also got it for three dollars. I love picking up bigger sizes because us big girls need to look pretty too. Okay, so it's Studio One. <clears throat> this is another dress, size 14. It's just a cute summer dress. Just nothing special, but it's cute. It's got greens and purples and cream color. And I got this for a dollar. Ouch. Okay, Leslie Faye. Size 8. That's another long dress. You can cinch it, cinch it at the sides. Let me do that and give you a better picture of what it looks like. And it is long, and it does have slits up on the sides. I lost my hairband, so I'm just going to take it off. So it happens when my hair is wet. Okay. Anyway, it zips up the back. It was also a dollar. I love this one. It's a city silk. Size 10, as in its name, it is silk, a sleeveless, kind of geometric pattern, pattern. It's cute, zips up the back, very bright and summery, it's lined, got it for a dollar. These are size 18 to 20 women. 100% cotton, just a boho, pinkish, pull-on, elastic back with pockets, wide leg pants. Very nice and comfy. I also got those for a dollar. AGB. Size 14. It's just a pretty royal blue sleeveless cheap dress sits at the back got it for diet <laughs> so you know I'm gonna make my money back on this stuff this I thought was a great find and I hope it fits me um, it's lightweight it's Levi's Extra large, <clears throat> made in Sri, Sri Lanka, I can't pronounce that, but it is a Levi dress, it is cotton, it does have a long, long sleeves, but you can roll them up, they have a button, and the buttons up the front, it's like a baby doll, kind of, so, you know, you can wear it as a dress or in the wintertime. You could very easily put black leggings and boots with it. 
Um, I just love it. I'm probably going to keep this one. Because I like cotton. I'm praying we get through this video without my dogs going off. I can't pronounce this. A-R-Y-E-H. Size large. It's just a pretty red halter eyelet dress. It zips up the back, kind of low in the back, and it flares out at the bottom, but it's eyelet. Very pretty. I got that for a dollar. This is the one I paid six six dollars for because I did look this up. I looked the comps up. It's Escada Margarita Lay. It's a blazer. It feels like uh, part wool. Let me check it. Um, size 40, made in Germany. Yeah, 95% wool. Um, just a beautiful blazer. It's navy blue. It's got these stars all over it. Double breasted. It was just, I don't know. I just loved it. So, um, and it's wool. And it was in excellent condition. So, I'm sure that will sell. I might have to sit on it. Oh yeah, this was a weird one. Not weird, but it was a dollar. I'm sure it'll sell eventually. It's the first issue Liz Claiborne Company suit. Size 10. It is a zipper back right below the knee skirt. And it's kind of a, I don't know if you can see that pattern. It's raised. It's pretty. It's cream color, off-white. And it came with the suit jacket. And there's a few, I'm going to have to spot clean a few areas, I noticed. It's got these really pretty sleeves. Um, pretty buttons. I got this for a dollar, the whole suit. That will probably sit. Um, I don't know. I'm going to spot clean it. I'm going to look up comps and may or may not send it to the dry cleaners. Alright, I think this might be the winner of the day. Not sure. It's an Adriana Propel size 4. Yeah. And it is a uh, you know, big bow on the side, long, it's high-low, Front stops here. It goes on for days. Oh, on the back. I'm pretty sure this is was a good buy. I got it for three dollars. Okay, it's covering up everything. And I got another J. Crew size six. I believe this was silk. Yeah, 100% silk. Um, it is also a cross. But look at these. I have never seen this before. And it's cool because it clips like a bra. And it holds the dress up. So you don't have to worry about it falling down. Um, but it's just a below the knee, fit and flare, beautiful dress. I got four, three, no. This one was five oh nine. What that cost me. But I, I think that will sell. And then I got this really cute. Hopefully it'll fit me. That was the plan. R and K originals, size twelve, polka dot, cotton dress. The elastic in the back with the zipper. I love polka dots. I love everything polka dot. And it's padded a little bit. 
I love polka dots. I think that's why me and Thread Up have such a, uh, I don't want to say love-hate relationship, but we've got a, a serious relationship with green polka dots. And I got this Altered State little summer dress, roughly front and roughly bottom. It's just a little summer dress. I also got this with me in mind, I think. Um, but size large, I don't know. We'll see. Everything fits differently, but that's cute. Oh, this is another good one. <sighs> Betsy Johnson, size 10. When I got up to the register, I mean, and it's not, I mean, it's not real, real fancy, but I mean, look at the back. That's cute. And so that's, it'll show your back. When I got up to the register, I noticed the zipper was broken, but it's not broken to where I can't fix it. All it is is it came out from the very bottom down here and needs to be put back down there, relined and stitched across so the zipper works. I can handle that. For a Betsy Johnson, I can handle that. So I went ahead and bought it for $3. Size 10. That is cute. This is another really pretty one. Millie M. Size 10. I'm not familiar with this brand. I also paid $3 for this one, but look at the, how pretty this is. The print is 100% it's a cotton and a tinsel. It's beautiful though. It's fully lined. Let me find the tag. This is going to be... It's just an awesome dress. I love it. Well, I know what the fabric is because I saw it. I don't know. I don't know. But it's... It is, I believe, 100% cotton. Um, very nice. Beautiful, bright colors. Summer. And last one. And we are only at 22 minutes. I didn't think I was going to be able to get through this. This is Connected Apparel. Size small. It's just another pretty long kind of a high low handkerchief type bottom um, and this is another one I paid five dollars and nine cents for so I must have looked it up but it's got the inside is like a lace lace slip lined it's washable um, I just thought it was very pretty. I think I probably said that word 20 times. Um, but yeah, no, I think I did good. There's a couple in here that I'll probably sit on for a while, like the suit and some of the evening gowns. But I think for the most part, um, the dresses will probably sell. I mean, I'm selling a lot of dresses. I don't know about you guys, but I've been selling dresses. I'm not having a problem selling dresses. Um, actually everything's kind of picked up so I'm I'm happy and I feel much better today I got all my photographs taken this morning from yesterday's haul I got all my orders pulled from yesterday and last night so when I get off here with you I'm gonna list the stuff from yesterday and then pack up my orders and then see about which one of these I want to get photographed and listed so if there's anything here that you're interested in please shoot me an email let me know or you can wait till it gets up on my Poshmark closet and be cheaper um, if you contact me privately uh, versus going through Poshmark but um, we can do it either way whatever you're comfortable with I do have PayPal that is the only thing I do other than Poshmark is PayPal so anyway let me know what you think of my haul I I liked it I'm happy with it I wish a lot of it fit me, actually, but probably a couple will. I'll be able to take those on my trip. 
Anyway, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Today, everybody's recuperating from the holiday. Um, hopefully, all of you stayed safe. We did. Um, and I don't know when the next video is going to be or what it's going to be, but it will probably be a how-to on something. i got to figure it out. I don't know. I will we'll talk to you guys later. Maybe tomorrow. Lily out.